until there's a dead ball situation. Mm -hmm. I think the idea is right. I think they have to clean up on how they decide what a flop is. Oh, nice pick. Jaden Reed. Oh. He's blocked. And <laughs> coming up to help out, Ben Michaels gets his first field goal. And you love the effort. Michaels reels it in underneath the goal. Here comes Lou High again, Jaden Ross. Elijah Crawford, two on one. Good opportunity! If you're a Michigan State fan, you have to be ecstatic about Cohen Carr. He brings that highlight ability, that finish ability. Watch him take off, long strides, massive vertical, and he leaves no doubt. Gonna get fouled and for three point plays. Khalil Lauro. Underneath, and there's Daniel Jacobson, the seven-footer. He's just a junior. Nice follow right back up by Michaels. Luhai with a three-point lead here. Jaden Reed tees up the three. Well tested, he's tough-minded. Look at the way he just fought over that screen. Love it. Arnold has it ripped away. Nice hands by Mingo. Two on one to the sky! Jaden Ross with a throwdown. With the basketball, first time we've called his name as he just came in. Number 15. Luhai still running and scoring. Jaden Reed again. Caden Mingo. What hands. Jaden Reed falls down. And nice. it's going to be a breakout for Carr. With a little extra something on it. Top 100 prospect. Powered up and score it. Elijah Crawford able to get position. He'll go to the line. I am an Elijah Crawford fan. Crawford, but he bounces right back up. Here's Khalil Arnold. Nice pull up. So a 7 0 run here for Legacy Early. Starting to close the gap a little bit on Luhai. Mingo out to Edgecombe, wide open. Count the three-pointer. And they sit down on the defensive end. They guard you, they help each other. Great pass. <laughs> Cohen Carr able to turn it around and throw it down. I mean, not many play better in space than Cohen Carr. Edgecombe, high percentage. Active hands here for Legacy, and getting he, after it defensively. Yeah, he uses that athleticism to impact the game. Edgecombe. Tyler Ringhold. Hope it stays that way. <laughs> Dipped up in the air. Edgecombe ahead. And now Ross. The extra look and the finish by Caden Mingo. Everything. And you can hear Coach Buck when he talks. To me, his tone has a little bit of skip process to it. Good luck to Edgecombe, who is feeling it. And the miss shots. Final 10 seconds. Lou High trying to take another bucket to halftime. Rebounded by Arnold, and that'll do it in the first half. So what a start to the season for the Crusaders. Get your best player the most shots. Coach Buck with a really nice stagger double to get Jaden Ross a shot. Nice cut, and the bucket. Elijah that, Crawford. Yeah, that is a gorgeous cut by if Legacy early and cut into this lead. They still trail by 12. Long way to go here. Reed, little floater. Right now, they are getting after him, coach. Jaden Ross the other way. Following it back up. Oh, great block. Good recovery by a Simeon. Crawford now hands it off and put in by Cohen Carr. How about that by Legacy? Get it to Crawford again. He'll pull up this time from the elbow. I'll tell you what, when the ball is in his hands, good things happen. He started to backpedal, and he just kind of lifts off the court. Inside the lay-in. And this is a team in Legacy. They're going to claw, scrap. Oh, Edgecombe goes and gets it. Legacy last year in the NIBC. You know how tough they are. Beautiful pass. Setting up Edgecombe right at the rim. He's putting it right on a plate for him. Jalen Reed. He's covering Cohen Carr right now. Long shot here, and it's good. Khalil Arnold able to knock it down. Legacy. That pass never had a chance. Ross, nice behind the back. 
Goes to the lob. Edgecombe nearly was able to score that one. And Jai got to clean it up. Luhai really does a great job of converting. They get possession and they fly. Floater in the lane by Malachi Brown. Does a really good job of putting the ball in the middle of the floor, getting to a set or a concept. Three tees one up for three. The bounce. Final 10 seconds of this third quarter. Fall away shot, follow back up. That's Daniel Jacobson's first two. That brings us to the end of the third quarter. Luhai continues to be impressive. 49-38. Won several possessions here without a field goal. And Legacy eventually is going to make them pay. This is Jaden Ross, though, going coast to coast. Yeah, turnovers have hurt. You can't look for a foul when you play in the NIBC. You have to fight and play through contact. And if you lose possession, you got to sprint your you-know-what back. Oh, the lane is good. Nicely done by Christian Hodges. So locked in and focused. Look at him defensively. I love him. Edge challenging. Can't get it to fall. Right back up. Oh, great take and finish. He had a squeeze that off. Jaden Reed. Luhai running away with it here in Central Florida. Jaden Reed. Book it. And he'll have a chance to complete the three-point play. Hodges, that was a frustration foul by 15 in the black. He's trying to get back on defense. He knows he's going to give up a layup. He's going to try to challenge, but... Hodges cross court. Elijah will let it fly, and you can tell that ankle not giving him that support on the jumper. He... He's still smart. He can still be tough. Reed splits. Bodies collide inside the paint, and there's Edgecombe. Jacobson, one of the things about young, tall guys, they don't have very good balance. He tried to block out. He missed the block out. He fell down, and Luhai took advantage. Spin move. That was pretty. Found his teammate. They don't work unless you're playing hard and you're finishing possessions. Arnold shot just off. Scramble for it. They're coming right at us, coach. You don't want Hodge is coming <laughs> at you. A little early in the season for that. And how about Cohen Carr? This team will not go away. Me too. Legacy early needs a stop and they need points quick. Michaels left open and he'll bury it. And we're going to have a foul. It's going to be on Legacy. So count the bucket. They're scoring. Mm. Those are three point plays. If you can make your free throw. Saw Crawford. He got hit as he went up for the ball there. Oh, nice. Ringold able to steal it. He really has his guys playing really hard. And this could be a, a breakout year for the Panthers. Caden Mingo trying to get to the rim. And you see the fruits of the labor here in NIBC play starting to be had. Crawford drops one in. Legacy Early College will bounce back in a big time fashion after this game. Blue high, get your rest, get your vitamins. Make sure you bring your toughness tomorrow against Montverde. 73 59 final score. Lou High gets their first win of the season. Legacy falls to two and one.